This really is well, quite a complex uh, spread here. It's one of the final ones from the If Statement pack from the old hires. And it's based around the theme of insurance. So we've got different people, different types of insurance and different types of discounts. Your goal here is to work out their subtotal and any kind of discount they get. The discount after the subtotal, how much they have to pay by applying lots of different kinds of formula. Right, first off and most straightforward is an addition, quite clearly, to add the two cells together for the different kinds of insurance that the person has. Very easy, not too taxing. And you do tend to find it higher that there might be a little equation like this popped in, be it an addition, a subtraction, multiply, divide something that might involve two cells. Quite often you have to copy it down a long column, but the basic premise is there that they do test the basic skills as well. This is why we insist that you know, prior knowledge is so important, especially if you are crashing higher or crashing national five, you've got to go back and learn those basic skills that you picked up from experience all the way through school. So there we have our basic insurance subtotal for each person in C7 and in C18. The next part, policy discount allowances. So this person is getting a discount of 12% for the build on buildings insurance, a discount of 8% because they live in a neighbourhood watch area, and a discount of 6% on motor insurance. The person down the bottom gets a discount for an online purchase, and qualifying criteria into for a no claims bonus, so quite a huge discount there. Now, question is, how do we go about doing this? We can't really do a lookup or a sum if, or even an if statement, because all the cells are contained in the one, all the words are contained in the one cell. If you had them laid out in a list, you could of course add them up one by one, multiply them. In this case, it's a little bit more complex to work out. Yeah. I thought about this for a little bit in different ways to to, to, to work out. I tried it with V's and H lookups, well AP's lookups wouldn't work, some ifs didn't work, nested ifs again didn't work because everything is contained in the one cell. And then the more I thought about it, I kind of thought, well I'm maybe overcomplicating things here, let's try a more simplified approach. And what I found worked was looking at the person's total cost of insurance. So. We looked at put the subtotal multiplied by the code. So the first person, the first discount is a B, so it's twelve percent. Now that will find twelve percent of the subtotal, which is four eighty eight. Let's absolute cell reference that. Then it's not just a one part equation. We've got a second part as well. Let's add brackets our subtotal again multiplied by in this case we're looking at n which is eight percent and then let's up so cell reference that like so and then it's not just a two part equation it's got a third and final part as well and plus and your brackets remember the whole point in the bracket says your bot mass from maths your brackets are before everything if you see brackets you do you do that first brackets before any um, multiplication division subtraction brackets always come first and lastly we multiply this by the m percentage so not just we're finding out 12 percent 8 percent and 6 percent we are adding all those values together. And lastly, just to be consistent, let's absolute cell reference that variable as well. And that gives us our total discount of £126.88. Now, I'm just, I've just thought about this a second <laughs> to prove that generally people always do make mistakes. And the first, the first time you look at a spreadsheet, you may make a mistake as well. Now, I based my discount on the insurance subtotal. 
which was wrong. The insurance subtotal should have been based on the individual insurance cost here, where they've actually got the discounts of B, N and M, not down here on 48. So, whereas here I have based it on cell C7, it should have been on cell C5. So, beauty of formula, you can just click in and change it. Now, you'll have to go back and change it there too as well. Like so. But the formula does make it a little bit more straightforward if I can rectify these mistakes. So, just see again what I'd done wrong there. I had based my total discount on the subtotal, but my subtotal didn't actually have the discount, it was the individual insurance amounts that had the discount. So the policy discounts were £95.68. And the next part again is just a simple discount, it's a reduction, it's a takeaway. It is your insurance subtotal take away any policy discounts. So this is why it was important to work them out on the correct values. So it's £392.32 and and as our subtotal after discount. Okay, so our next part here, overall discount, and we're working out what kind of discount they get based upon their subtotal. So if the subtotal is more, so it's less than or equal to 400, they get 5%, greater than, they're getting 7.5. Now, we have to find an actual amount here. It's not the percentage, but it's an actual figure that we put into our cell. So we use formula within our if statement. So click up on FX, and we want a formula box. Logical test is cell C9 greater than 400. If it is, you will have your value multiplied by the percentage in cell G23, which we have to absolute cell reference. Now, alternatively, if it is less than, then we've got our second option, which is that figure, multiplied by G23. And that's just F4, absolute cell reference. Okay, and then we've got our 19 pounds and 62 pence. Now here, we have to display here, we have to display whether they get a discount of 5% or 7.5% just to make it clear for well, the customer or potentially any marker. So F, cell so here is greater than 400, they get their 10%, so their 7.5%, sorry, or their and then just absolute cell reference those variables like so and then just change that to percentages no decimal places okay now on to the second customer now this person again we have to work out with discounts now all the discounts are based upon motor vehicle insurance. So again, like before, there's several parts to it, not as many, this is just a two-part equation. So it would be equals, our value this time is C16, let's do our brackets first, C16 times G14, which is our online purchase discount, and our bracket, then we've got our plus symbol, and then bracket again, then our last discount, which is again based upon the purchase value times G17, which is our 35%, which gives us our subtotal discount, so our policy discount allowance of 675. Really simple. 
take away. Or the next part. Like so. And it brings the overall discount amount down quite far. So as above, our overall discount amount is an if statement. And the logical test, so is our subtotal, so is C20 greater than 400? So if that's true, again it's your C20 multiplied by our 7.5%. Remember to absolute cell reference. And lastly, if it's not true, we've got our only alternative, which is C20 times G G23. And there we go. Now, as above, we've got to evidence here whether they've got a 5% or 7.5% discount. So we're just basically doing what we had before without the multiplication involved to express it as a percentage. Again, just change that for percentages. Now, one like well, I remember one thing, one simple thing I appear to have missed out. Well, remember to do all the difficult things is to give the person the final total for the insurance. That is again their subtotal take away overall discount amount. C nine take away C ten. Really simple takeaway to finish off you know, what has been quite a difficult spreadsheet task. So just to clarify and show the formula. Now let's just make column a bit narrower so we can get the gist of what we've just completed here. You've done a three part equation with multiplication and addition. We've done if statements to work at a percentage value. You've done if statements just to give a value. So, a couple of complex things. Um, the next step to this would be adding in a third variable and making it look like a nested if. Now, that will come again in following videos.